Hello. First of all, I want to say thank you for the invitation and for the very warm welcome here. For me, it's very interesting to follow uh, this, these presentations. Uh, next, I have to excuse uh, me a little bit. I'm not used to make presentations in English. And so I, please have mercy with my poor English. But I'll do my very best. Uh, before I going to show you a short glimpse uh, of our project, I would give some remarks to the situation of libraries in Austria and to, the, to our organization. Uh, in Austria we have a very dense net of libraries. 1,500 libraries, public libraries about, that we find in Austria, but most of them are very small and uh, you have to know most of the libraries are run by volunteers. A big difference to your system. And so we don't have uh, common standards, uh, we have different uh, um, electronic systems. Um, you are on a higher level. Uh, in libraries, as I, as I saw, and uh, to me, this library was presented to me yesterday evening. Uh, it's great uh, to see what is possible in a city like Ljubljana. Um, you have to know that Austria is a federal state, and um, not just the state, also the federal states are uh, responsible for libraries, and so there are big differences. Um, here you see districts, if it's red then they are on a higher level, uh, if it's green then it's a lower level and if it's grey then it's extremely poor. Um, for example here that shows which countries, do, to which extent do they reach uh, the standard to get uh, additional funding by the state. And you see that in Salzburg in the middle and in Upper Austria, uh, the dark grey, uh, 20 to 40 percent of the libraries reach to get uh, to, to reach a standard so that they get additional funding from the state. Just in the far west, there's one federal state, uh, Vorarlberg, they are really uh, good. Our uh, organization the Österreichisches Bibliothekswerk, Austrian um, Library Network, is located in Salzburg. Uh, about 1,300 libraries are members in our association. Most of them are public libraries, that's the yellow group. Public libraries, school libraries and uh, academic uh, libraries uh, too. It seems to be a big association, but if you have a closer look, we are just five people sharing three and a half full-time jobs. So it's extremely small uh, association, but we have a lot of ideas and projects. And uh, if you have no money, you just have good friends. Uh, since 65 years, we are publishing um, a magazine for book reviews. Each year we are um, presenting about 1,600 uh, new books um, and about 90 critics are working for us. They work voluntarily, they get the media, uh, just the, that's it, they just get the media for their work. Um, and we are presenting our critics because we saw that people are very interested uh, to the people to, to know who is recommending books to me. And we saw that uh, for them it's uh, so interesting, uh, it makes a difference. It's like under France, uh, if you get an advice, uh, it uh, it's depends uh, whom uh, gave you this advice. And what we do since some years, we also invite children and young people to write critics for us. For us it's a lot of work, but uh, it's important to have their own voice, their own point of view. And um, they are very proud about this and then they talk about, they show it at school and other friends and uh, 
once the father said, well, he want to have 50 issues because his daughter was uh, in, in one of the magazines. And well, uh, I think it's, it's a lot of work, but it's worth Well, then we started 15 years ago uh, to publish the book reviews also online. And from the first beginning, we said, why just our magazine? Wouldn't it be more interesting to build a common uh, data pool? And up to now, we reached that about 22 institutions or magazines are offering their book reviews in one data pool. So it's um, you get a, a multi perspective uh, look uh, on books. Uh, and um, the organizations are most are coming from Austria, some from Italy and from Germany. Um, and we feel as a member of the Creative Commons movement, all our book reviews, you can use them without asking us. If it's non-commercial, you can use them. You just have to write the source where it's coming from, and you don't have even to ask us. Well, and what we uh, invented next was um, to make um, an interface so that all the libraries can uh, import uh, our data directly within seconds into their own system. Okay, so perhaps that's the moment to have a look into real time. real-time presentation. Here that's our website. And here are the book reviews. For example, if you're looking for a book of Trago Jancia, the database is very fast. You find uh, different books. And uh, you find here um, the media, where it is coming from, the one who wrote the book review and specific what we invented is we built the Biblio network that means there are a lot of windows into the world of reading and into the world of books. Um, you say, well, I don't Drago Jancha, who, who's that guy? And immediately you uh, will be connected to Wikipedia and have the information you want. You say, well, that sounds interesting, let's have a look to another um, database in Germany, Berlentaucher, and you find uh, further book reviews, uh, you have the direct connection to that offer. Or you say, I'm really interested, I have to write a work about it, um, then now that's the connection to an archive in Innsbruck, and here you find uh, articles of all Austrian newspapers and some uh, German newspapers and you can order them or some uh, 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 it's possible to download them immediately. You can say, well, here that's the big opac of um, the German uh, academic libraries and you can have a look inside where do I get the book and about the cataloging you can have a look if it's possible to find the book as e media. Can I load it down into my library? Some um, of our federal states are offering uh, e media. Uh, or you can. Well, what's about YouTube? Are there any videos about Strago Jancha? And you have them uh, implemented here. You can say, is it still possible to buy that book? So here that's um, an interface to the uh, book shops and you see, well, it's still available here for 22 and, uh, euros and 90 cents, you can buy it. Or you say, it's, it's, uh, you can't buy it anymore, so let's have a look into second-hand uh, uh, shops and archives and you see, it's still, you can Get it there? No, that's, that was not the second hand, that was the wrong right, right, right here. 
that's that's the offer you see yeah, it's still available here from 5 euros up to 50 euros uh, well and so there are further interfaces and the last one I'm going to show you now uh, the next step would be it would be interesting um, I want to have the book now I'm so interested uh, in which library do I get the book and therefore we built the Leselandschaft and um, you can say well let's have a look to to Salzburg and That system doesn't work here. That's <laughs> just in Austria. Uh, at the beginning, I showed you here a map. Uh, such a picture would appear if it would work. Uh, and showing you where are public libraries, where are school libraries, where are publishers. And you can go closer, you know. Uh, as Google Maps work. Um, and you, the next step would be to create a system where um, I get the information in which library is it available, the book I'm looking for. Well, that's it. <laughs>